So in today's episode, Ravi's in a dilemma. Suki or Nina, he needs to choose who to dob in the police. He's got the choice to put Lan Suki in it because he's got video footage as far as we can remember as viewers. And Nina told him in the end, it's either them or Suki. He needs to make a choice. Especially when Suki touched uh, Ravi's hand and confided in him and basically thanked him. Showing her appreciation and we all know that Ravi's uh, kind of drawn into that because he always wanted to be a part of a family. Nish saw that. I really don't know whether Suki sees him as a as a stepson or, 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 or a family member or, 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 or a romantic connection. I just have no idea because as, as far as we, we know, Suki seems to be bi and I'm not too sure whether she's... She, how she sees Ravi in what sense uh, maybe as a friend or it's just unclear and Ravi seems like he'll take anything any any form of connection and um, whether it's friendship uh, any romance as, as bad as it's to say is it's basically stepmom uh, or or even just being a family part of being a part of the family He'll take any kind of bond with that Panasar family. He just seems to be um, very desperate for their attention. And unfortunately, Nina's thrown the spanner in the works. And also, what's interesting to know is Suki actually being genuinely appreciative of Ravi. Or is she buttering him up? And she's basically being extra nice to him. Who knows? Um, I personally think it's a bit of both. She is probably appreciative but i think it's more more in my opinion she's being extra nice deliberately in this occasion because she doesn't want to go to prison and she knows ravi's the only one that can save her um because he's the wit key witness and if he plays along with her then she'll be saved so in my opinion because she's on the firing line she's probably being extra nice to ravi just for this occasion i mean he's been He's been telling her not not all this time not to act in a certain way or give anything away, and she's never really took on that on board properly and never really thanked him properly. Uh, but all of a all of a sudden now she's thanking him, obviously disposing the body and you know, kind of um, hiding. Obviously, as viewers, we know that she didn't kill Ravi. Um, she probably weakened him. So not Ravi, Ranveer. She probably weakened him. And then Ravi is the one that's um, killed him in the end. We know that. But as far as they're aware, Suki's aware, she's the one that killed Ranveer. So basically, the fact that she might be using Ravi a little bit is just typical Suki behavior. Um, saving her and her family, always about her, mainly herself. And then possibly her family. And Ravi, Ravi's just a tool that she's going to use. But now Nina's throw the spanner in the works. Who knows? I think Nina... I don't know which way Ravi's going to go. I think there might be another twist. So... Something tells me... Now, I'm just guessing here... That he might... He's going he's gonna to do a decision. Make a decision which way he's going to go. But then he's going to get in trouble for it because I think they're going to, someone's going to, we all know someone's going to find that video footage somewhere down the line and he's probably edited it out. But there might actually be the video footage where he kills him. He kills his dad. I don't think he probably deleted that. Something just tells me maybe he maybe he deleted it. Maybe it's in the recycling bin, but he forgot to empty it or clear it or delete, delete, wipe it properly, if that, if that makes sense. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. This... I hope they don't drag it. I just hope it's quick, like in the next two, one or two weeks. I hope we don't, we don't have to wait until Christmas for this story to be over. Um, but yeah, I think that's um, it's quite interesting. As long as EastEnders, they play it, um, um, play it quickly and moderately. And Alf, Alfie got stuck on the rooftop. Uh, and um, Kat is meant to see his, the twins and the boys, basically. Had a him and Cat arranged something. Cat's obviously given him permission, and now she's been she's basically throwing um, tantrums that you know he's been locked on the roof. He's come down, and then obviously she's 
kind of saying how imagine how the boys feel etc etc but to me to to me it looks like she's over emotional rather than the boys um you know i'm pretty sure their kids they'll understand they'll be upset but if, if their date just happens to be the next day then i'm the kids they'll just be happy to see their dad the next day you know it's, it's, it'll be the following day it won't be like it's in the next year or so um i think I think Kat obviously likes Alfie and she hates the fact that she likes Alfie still and she's punishing him and she's punishing herself. And unfortunately, Alfie's, I think to me, we both know there's a car crash when they're together and sometimes they have great moments, but when they break up and they're, they're, they're separate, it's really bad. Even their co-parenting is bad. So even if he's standards they're, they're, they're trying to think that they're going to bring those two characters again together i just think it's the wrong move because they're a car crash as it is when it comes to co-parenting so just for the sake of the kids you know you're trying to bring them together or because obviously they're trying to make cat jealous in certain scenarios especially with the way she sees alfie um behaving behaving with linda like well like he's doing a sparks i wouldn't say sparks but just like really good friendship um and he's really good to gene um i yeah. i think for alfie it's best to avoid cat that's what my answer is because cat seems to be more grounded when she's with phil because she feels not gonna let that kind of um behavior fly 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 by him um because obviously he's a mitchell anyway oh yeah lola i just felt so sorry for her um the fact that jay he's being very optimistic he overheard a doctor saying talking about a different patient that obviously they're going to be better they're going to be discharged in a couple of days etc jay went and told that to lola and billy was really upset obviously because he haven't confirmed there's no confirmation that the doctor was talking about lola and the fact that jay's told lola that she's going to get better after her surgery lola got really happy and then obviously doctor delivered the the news in the end i was so sad and it's just it's heartbreaking i understand jay's optimism but he should have not done that um billy was right to tell him off i think it's just really sad i just don't have any words for that i'm afraid um it's just one of those things i just yeah i don't know why th- not sure if she wants to leave in real life. If not, then I don't know. I think he's he's done as they've done her a bit dirty because she was a great actress, talented, and they're now killing her off and giving her no storylines and always like tag along with the Mitchells. It's yeah, she's let's just say she's she hasn't had a great time on the square. The actor, um, but anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.